Hey everyone, welcome back to ADEX Pixel Expo 8 monthly webinar global webcast for the September series. Um, so as you guys know that uh, for every 8th of the month, uh, we will be coming together for a united cause. And that is of course for our love for diving and also the ocean. So um, I hope you enjoyed the earlier session uh, with uh, ADEX Ocean Hero of the month of September, which is Heidi Yu. And of course, all her sharing with regards to ghost nets in Hong Kong and her fantastic eco-friendly and sustainable plan and initiative for uh, Deef, uh, Hong Kong. So for this session, we are of course going to be talking about Green Fiends and also the diver e-course that um, they are currently offering to um, you know, most of us divers. Um, so um, let me, before I go about introducing Sam Craven, which is the um, speaker for today, um, I would also like to invite everyone who's tuning in to comment and or leave all your questions on the current uh, live FB post. And, uh, you know, Sam will be most happy to reply them then. So, and also do not forget to like, comment and also share this post uh, to, to have the opportunity to win collector's edition of your favorite Asian diver or scuba diver Australasia and Ocean Planet Diving Magazine for free. So like, share and comment. So back to Sam. I, I guess everybody know who Sam is. Uh, Sam is the programs manager for the Reef World Foundation. Sam is a marine biologist and Wutan conservationist who has been diving for 20 years. So Sam has been working with um, the Reef World Foundation since 2012 and she has been focusing on green fiends uh, program and also bringing practical tools to governments, uh, marine tourism businesses and communities around the world. Sam believes that we can all play our part to safeguard uh, fragile coral reefs um, and also we, with the right knowledge and also tools and skills, uh, you know, with this current uh, Green Fiends Diver ECOS, uh, we are hopeful that we can, um, you know, uh, establish what is it that we want to, uh, you know, uh, do, which is to, uh, what do call this, prevent uh, Good safe measures uh, with regards to our marine conservations. So we have here Sam, and it's been a while since I last saw you. It has. Hi, hi Laura. <laughs> it's nice to see you. And hopefully we'll be able to see you know one another in the next ADAC show. I so, hope uh, so. We miss it. <laughs> We miss you too very much. <laughs> so uh, without any further ado, I'd like to pass over the session to you. Okay. You, Let Sam. me. I'll just share my screen. Can you see that, Nora? Is that okay? Yes, it looks perfect. Great. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in, especially if you're taking your lunchtime to come and watch with us. I'm here to talk to you today about the newly released Green Fins Diver course, which is an online course designed to help recreational divers like you and me protect coral reefs. So just a little bit of background, Nora gave a great introduction. Thank you, Nora. Um, and as she said, I'm the programs manager for the Reef World Foundation. And we're a UK charity that focuses on marine conservation, delivering practical solutions for our main stakeholders. And this is all in an effort to protect marine environments for the benefit of those who are using them, those who visit them, and for our future generations as well. As Nora said, I've been diving since 2001 and been working with Reef World since 2012 and combining diving and marine conservation has always been a huge passion of mine and this Greenfins Diver project has definitely been a project passion project for our team as well so really excited to share this with you guys. Just as a reminder, in case you're not so familiar with Greenfins, it's a joint initiative between the UN Environment Programme and the charity that I work for, the Reef World Foundation. And it aims at making sustainable diving the norm. So we want to make sure that the best practices that are found through the Greenfins Code of Conduct or the environmentally friendly guidelines are really just the habit for everybody out there, which means that our dive sites and our coral reefs will be better protected. So we've really focused on delivering the education and tools required to address some of the needs or the conservation needs 
of biologically important coral reef sites, which also happen to be very often our dive sites as well. And that's even more important as the, we're understanding more and more the impacts of climate change on coral reefs and how they're really affecting them. Now, we're not here to say that the diving industry is the major threat to coral reefs when it comes to the impacts of climate change or, um, you know, it's not on the same scale, but we do have an impact and therefore we do have a responsibility to make sure that we're removing that impact and giving the reefs the best fighting chance they have because they've got some severe temperature issues coming up in the next decade or so. In a few years ago, around 2016, we did a study where we observed over 100 divers from 44 different operators and found that 88% of divers contacted the reef at least once while diving, and 36% of us were unaware or didn't react, or didn't show any recognition that we did so. Um, well, this is a pretty small study, but it does meet the results of other studies. So there's a range of diver contact rates from sort of 71 to 97 percent of divers contact the reef at least once and we found that it's not necessary beginner divers or new divers but those with more experience um, maybe more confident in their skills that are having these little impacts and this isn't to point the finger or to blame anyone but it's to be aware because in the context of our collective industry it can add up Pre-COVID, I'm sure this number has been very different the last couple of years, but pre-COVID, there were over 1 million new divers that were certified annually. And that's, you know, adding to a pool of millions of divers already. And if one person kicks a piece of coral with their fin and it breaks, it's not going to be make or break for the survival of coral reefs. But if all of us do that, or even if 88% of us do that, it will have a significant local impact on reefs. And these are the ch kinds of challenges that we're trying to meet with green fins. So typically, um, since 2004, green fins has been equipping dive and snorkel operators to sort of teach their guests, teach their staff, these lessons, these the messages and tools and tips for how to run the daily operations of a dive center better. Um, but of course, the demand for this information is far greater than the 11 countries where Greenfins is currently active. So here at Reef World, we've been looking at ways at increasing that reach, um, meeting that demand from the industry for the lessons that Greenfins has. In 2001, we launched the Greenfins Dive Guide eCourse, and this is really designed for dive professionals, guides and instructors that can help um, them reinforce good diver behavior, manage their divers. What are the considerations as a member of staff within an operation that you need to take on to make sure that you're protecting the reefs, reducing your environmental impact? This year, we're absolutely delighted to announce um, and to have launched the Green Fins Diver Course, which is specifically for recreational divers. And one of the very first tools actually that Green Fins has put out that's really diver focused, that hasn't come through the operator itself. And this means that now anyone, anywhere, even if you aren't diving with a Green Fins member or dive shop, um, you can learn from the decades of lessons from the Green Fins network, several countries, several dive shops and guides and instructors who have all fed back to the initiative and made it a really useful tool. So the Green Fins Diver course um, is currently available in English, although we'd like to add new languages in the, in the future. There's no diving component. It's a totally online course and it's self-paced. And we approximate that it takes about two hours for people to finish it. But of course it saves progress so you can log in and log out and, and take it at your own pace. We've divided the course into three different modules that takes you on a journey from understanding the situation in which we dive, the coral reefs and their biology, to tips, to planning your diet trip, to um, how to conduct your dives underwater as well. This is all information that we've all wished we'd had when we learned to dive, and I'm really proud to be able to share this knowledge with all of you today. So module one's an introduction to coral reef biology, global local threats, the green fins approach. It's all information that's specifically relevant 
to divers. It's not a marine science course at all. It's the information that you need as a recreational diver to understand the context in which you're diving. It also helps you understand how reefs are threatened and why, and how you can use green fins to help that. Module two is everything that you need to know above the water in terms of running environmentally friendly dive trips, whether that's finding out what environmental certifications your potential dive shop might have. Green fins is one example, but there are others out there that we outline. Um, what questions to ask a dive center when booking to see if they are environmentally minded and if they are really you know, taking the steps that's needed to um, put environmental practices into place. And of course, like how you can reduce your dive impact from even before you leave the house, what to pack, what to bring with you so that you're prepared and you're not having as much environmental impact when you, you go on holiday. And then in module three, we dive in and learn the more environmentally ways to actually conduct the dive itself. So tips and tricks on buoyancy and how to think about that, um, environmentally friendly ways to interact with mean, marine life or have um, underwater photographers and videographers, they, there's tips for them there too. So we're really trying to show what are the considerations to take, what is the what are the thought process and what are the actions that you as a recreational diver can take to make sure that you're not damaging the dive site that you're diving on, especially when it comes to coral reefs. Module three also takes a little step further. Um, as a recreational diver, you're the consumer in the dive business or the diving industry. So as a customer, as a consumer, how can you use that position to create um, really constructive conversations with the operators about their environmental practice. So if you saw something that you didn't like, it's a bit of guidance about how to structure that conversation with the manager or the decision maker in the dive shop to try and make a real difference. Now the course is totally online, but we've really tried to design it to be as interactive and interesting as possible with tips and exercises, definitions, fun facts, um, it's really the course that we wished that we'd had and it's, I just, I found it a lot of fun and I hope that you guys do too. Um, we've always prided ourselves in making sure that Greenfins meets the needs of the, the people that are using it as a tool. And so the posters, the materials, the courses, everything that Greenfins does has been improved with feedback from the people that are using them. So we're really looking forward to hearing any feedback from you guys if you do end up taking the course. At the end of each module, there's a short multiple choice quest um, test, not a quest, we're not that mean and it's multiple choice because we're trying to be kind. And this is definitely not um, us trying to test your knowledge, it's more of a tool for you to apply the knowledge that you've learned during the courses, help you absorb them and apply those lessons in a real life context as well. So if you pass all three modules and you can, re can retake it um, as many times as you need to, you'll receive a personalized certificate with your name, Greenfin's Diver course, the UN logo, and all of that. The certification is valid for two years because just like refreshing safety skills, we think it's of equal importance to refresh your environmental knowledge. We at Refold are also going to make sure that the course is updated regularly with any of the latest best practice or news or new tips or tools that the network has shared with us. So each time you refresh your knowledge, you'll be getting the most up-to-date information. The other thing about um, doing this course is that if you are taking the actions and the tips and the tools from it and, and bringing them into each dive in the future, you're really doing your part to contribute to one of our global goals, the sustainable development goals, in particular goal 14, which is to protect life below water. So we hope that this is a great roadmap and tool for divers to be able to feel like they're really contributing towards the betterment of our dive sites and the diving industry's future as well. So we're very proud of the course. I'm sure that you've picked that up from me. Um, and we've launched it in July and we're really delighted to have 
gotten such positive feedback from people that have taken it, whether that be open water divers who um, hadn't had access to information like that before or instructors who found it really useful to supplement their courses. Um, yeah, we've had some really great feedback. So we really look forward to hearing how you all use this tool and what, what feedback you have for us as well. So the course itself costs 25 US dollars. Um, and so let, for less than the cost of most single dives around the world, you've got decades of knowledge and tips and tools and really practical information to help protect coral reefs. 100% of the proceeds go towards either supporting the course, running the course itself, or to refold grassroots, grassroots work with green fins to protect um, priority sites around the world. Now, of course, we recognize that it is a pandemic and people are struggling in all sorts of ways. And even before the pandemic, this cost might have been prohibitive for some people. So we also have a scholarship route, which you can find on the Greenfins website for anyone that can't afford to take the course. We don't want that to be the, the barrier that you have to this knowledge. So that's it from me, very short and sweet, just a quick introduction to the Greenfins Diver. I hope you guys are interested and take the course. And like I said, we would love to hear your feedback. So visit greenfins.net slash Greenfins Diver or find us on our social media. We'd love to hear from you. So thank you for listening to my talk and I'll wait for Nora. Thank you so much, Sam, uh, for taking your time to in reintroduce no, not reintroduced, to actually introduce this um, new uh, certification under Greenfin. And uh, it is definitely something that um, it should be implemented to all divers, definitely. Um, also, Sam, uh, I just yes. have one question, uh, which is from the audience, I think. Uh, they, was, they were asking is, um, I mean, like, is it applicable to everywhere? any dive centers or do they need to connect to you directly only? So people can access the course directly from the Greenfins website. Um, so you can access and pay for the course through there. You don't need to go through a dive shop. So if you visit greenfins.net and go to the learn menu, they'll have direct access to the course there. Okay, thank you so much, Sam, for clearing that up. Um, also, um, everyone, please do stay tuned to the next session, which is happening shortly, and that is with uh, Alexei Mokanovs, where he will take us into the journey to world records and also in free diving. So happening at 1.30 p.m. So once again, Sam, thank you for your time. I hope uh, all, all is well and safe with the team in Green Fiend and, um, you know, with Chloe and also JJ. I hope they're both well. And please do send our regards to them. I and, will. <laughs> and also the rest of uh, the teams over in Green Fiends as well. Likewise um, to the Underwater 360 team. We look forward to seeing you guys again. Yes, hopefully next year where things get better. Hopefully. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you so much, Thank Nora. You so much. See you again. Bye. Bye.